in my last video i told you about how to create a wordpress website in just 15 minutes so if you have purchased a wordpress blog wordpress hosting and domain then today i'll tell you about the wordpress admin panel and how to design your blog using wordpress admin dashboard if you are new to this channel then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss a single useful video about digital marketing and blogging and if you find this video useful then like this and share with your friends so let's start with login to wordpress admin of your blog you need to add slash wp admin after your domain name to log into your account then you have to enter your username and password then click on login button then you will see the dashboard like this this is the wordpress admin dashboard on the left hand side this is black vertical navigation menu and on the right hand side you will find the explanation for each and every items in the menu one of the most important thing here is this post option when you hover here or click on this then you will find four options over here there's all posts add new categories and tags so if you want to add any new post then this add new option is there click on this you can add your title here and your content here so i got one article uh, let's use this article for this purpose scope of digital marketing in india in 2020 and beyond and this is the content paste your content here so you can see the content like this so you can use the headings and all these things and now i'll put one image over here so i created one image for digital marketing so i'll just the i use canva for all my images this is one of the best software there's free as well as uh, there is a pro version so you can use free without any problem and i this is my email i'll da i'll download this image here download i can add my image after this first paragraph so you can see this icon for adding image right so you can click this icon and upload your image here upload image you can also drag this image digital marketing scope open so this image is here then you can see the complete article whether have you proofread this article you can check uh, all the details and then you can use the categories and tags for this particular post so i'll go here and uh, add new there, there's no category at all because this is a new blog i'll add new category here uh, suppose this is belong to digital marketing so add this new category here and this post will go into this digital marketing category i want to add any tag if you want to add any tag, tag here then you can use this tag option let's say digital marketing in india or scope of digital marketing so i'll use this one tag and when the post is ready and everything is fine then you can click on this publish option and this is again asking are you ready to publish just click here and this post will be published now this post is live just i'll click in this new tab and i'll see oh this post is live scope of digital marketing in india in 2020 and beyond see this post so this way you can publish a post now we move ahead next option is categories so you can add different categories in your blog so i will show you how suppose i want to add different categories for my blog this, is a uh, this blog is related to digital marketing so let's say seo is one of the category then add new category so seo category is added here then social media marketing add new category here you can also decide your slug here and these, these are the three categories then next option is tags so you don't have to add any tags here you can just check all your tags here 
because tags are added uh, while you are publishing the post only then there is media option you can see all your media files over here whether it is image files video files or pdf files every file you can see here see the there is the first image here i just added this image here for digital marketing if you want to add any new image then you can use this option add new or add new this option then next option is pages so there's all pages on add new you can add a new page from here pages are similar to posts but its purpose is different posts are something where you talk about something related to the niche of your website like this one but pages are pages have some different purpose and let's see all pages you can see these are the pages so pages have different purpose suppose you want to create about you or about your company a contact page testimonial services terms of use then you can do it by creating different pages let's create one of the page add new page let's say contact us if you want to can contact then you can use the form below or check my address to contact us you can use some form here or you can use your address with map and something so you can create a contact us page and you can publish this page here so let's uh, talk about the differences in posts and pages generally posts are included in your blog but not pages you can't use a category so see there is no option for choosing a category or tag in this page so you can do this in a post post your comment section where people can comment about your content but usually pages does not have a comment section then the next option is appearance this is another important area where you can find different sub menus and uh, different options when you click here you can see different options there there is themes customized widgets menus etc so let's understand each of them first one is the themes themes are like design of your blog today you can create any type of website with the help of thousands of excellent themes if you want to change any theme then there are options like premium themes then wordpress org themes if you click on this theme then you will find thousands of free themes the featured popular latest when you click on popular then you will find more than 4000 free themes here you can see all these themes here so if you want to install any theme then first check the preview of this theme you can check the review of the themes 230 people have rated 5 star if you like the preview then you can click on install and then click on activate so that this theme will be live then activate now if i reload this post this my website then you will see the new theme you can see here so it looks nice a good theme means a perfect design lots of customization options back end code is minimal and easy to crawl by robots that is google robots faster on mobile tablets and desktop and responsive and mobile friendly premium themes are always better than free themes then next option is customize option click here if you want to customize your theme then this is the area where you can customize your theme you can see the preview of customization whatever you are customizing you can see the preview here and accordingly if you like the preview then you can save that customization go back so generally premium themes have more customization option the next option is plugins plugins are excellent ways to add extra feature in your blog which is not provided by your theme let's find more details so if you want to add any new plugin then click on this add new option so you will see different types of plugins here click on this popular section you will find different popular plugins that people use on their blog so let's understand some of them this is contact form 7 plugin that is used for creating different types of forms like contact form and other inquiry forms for your website then this is another plugin yoast seo yoast seo is used for on page seo and one of the best plugin for seo then there is this akismet anti spam this is used for uh, stopping spam comments for your website 
then this is classic editor if you want to use old classic editor wordpress editor then you can use this plugin then this is jetpack by wordpress.com this plugin is a multi purpose plugin it will help you for uh, like checking site visitors then uh, seo social sharing backup security and much more then there is another plugin like elementor page builder for creating landing pages then this wordpress word fence security for uh, security of your wordpress website and so these are some of the best plugins that you can use for your blog then there is next option if you go to your appearance then you will find widgets option so if you want to add anything in your this footer header header like this sidebar like this or even footer then this widget option will help you to achieve suppose if you want to add any banner ad or recent or a popular post or like the sign up option then the social icons or different things then you can do this with the help of this widgets so here is the sidebar area where you can put different different things here right now you can see search option is there then recent posts recent comments archive categories meta and categories different things are there then if you want to add any any more thing then you can see this available widgets here and then accordingly you can use these option like calendar audio categories galleries these are some of the available widgets here so let's say if you want to add this widgets here, then just drag this from here to here and this will be added to your uh, sidebar section in the similar way you can add in the footer section or header section then go again to the appearance and you'll find another option menus go again to this website money connection you'll find a navigation menu here so if you want to create a simil similar type of navigation menu then you can do this you can achieve this with the help of this menu item so come here and uh, you can use this option create a new menu click here like if i want to create a new menu like header menu header menu then create this menu now you have to add uh, different things in this menu like you can add pages like you can you add post or categories uh, let's say this about page courses page testimonials and add this to the category this menu item header menu then post suppose if you want to add this post then you can add this post and if you want to add any category then seo or social media marketing add these categories so this way yeah, there are around four items in in this menu right now you can save this menu so this way your uh, navigation menu is ready now you can use different location like header or sidebar or footer to add this navigation menu now if you want to add this menu to your navigation this header or footer then you can use this option uh, customize where you can find the the places where you can where you can add this header menu next option is this users if i click on users then uh, you can add different types of users in your blog like if i click on add new user there are several types of roles you can provide to a user uh, one is subscriber subscribers means a subscriber can view your restricted or password enabled posts or even comment if you allow comments from logged in users only then this contributor is there contributor means he is uh, he can contribute a post but can't publish this post then there is another user author uh, an author can contribute a post and publish his own post then there is another user editor editor means uh, he can publish his own post and even other contributor posts he can also edit all posts existing posts and uh, even can approve or disapprove comments and the last one is administrator administrator means you so you can do anything with your blog so these are the details you have to provide and then you have to choose the uh, user role to add a new user never publish a post using an administrator account create a contributor author or editor account and then use this uh, user account only to publish any post after this the next important option is settings so click on settings and you will find different options now click on this general option 
so this is general option where you can find different things but this is self explanatory and there is nothing much to change so just leave it then click on this writing option here also there is nothing much to change if you want to change then you can use the you can change this uh, default post category suppose you write more about digital marketing or SEO so you can use that particular category let's say if I write about SEO more then I use this SEO default category click on save changes then next option is reading if you want to keep your blog on front page or home page then you can use the first option but if you want to create something different like this one as your home page then you can go here and you can use this home page as the your home page and the post blog page as the post page so you have to create two different pages and then accordingly you can design your home page and choose blog page as a post page and then save changes then the next option is discussion so this is also self explanatory you don't have to do anything much but if you want to change anything then you can read all the settings here and accordingly change then save changes then another important thing is permalinks so come here so here you can use this custom structure and one of the best way to choose your permalink is this only slash percentage post name percentage slash so your in this way this way your uh, url will look like this uh, if you click on any of this post then you can see here uh, it looks short and very sweet so this way you can use this particular tag as your permanent so you can use this option and save the settings so this is all about your wordpress admin panel i'm sure this will be a very useful video for you and you learned a lot about the wordpress admin panel if you find this video useful then like this video and share with your friends and if you are new to this channel then subscribe to my channel and if you have any query related to this video then write in the comment area